no C squared, yet Pythagoras, that's actually how you pronounce it, or we're used to saying Pythagoras, is known as the father of that theorem. And the father of mathematics. Because what? The Greeks claimed for themselves the glory of antiquity. They went about changing names. And when they grew in power, they said, we're the father of politics. Now, I will say this. I will say this. Pericles is the father of democracy. The Greeks did father democracy. But they did not father mathematics. They did not father medicine. You've heard of a Hippocrates. Isn't it interesting how doctors, they take or, or they swear a Hippocratic oath. Isn't that correct? That comes from Hippocrates, the Greek father of medicine. But he wasn't the father of medicine. But he gets credit for being the father of medicine. Like Pythagoras gets credit for being the father of math. Like Herodotus gets credit for being the father of history. Why? Because the Greeks claimed for themselves the glory of antiquity. And then as a result, they did what? Giving names to the nations that sounded well, that they might be better understood among themselves, and setting agreeable forms of government over them, pay attention, as if they were a people derived from them. In other words, we the Greeks are the fathers of civilization, and all nations came out of us. And how inaccurate is that? 